Hey guys, I'm Tammy and welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be sewing a smock top today using my newly released pre dress pattern. I thought I'd take you along as I sew this top. It's a really easy beginner friendly make and it takes just over an hour to sew. So I've decided I'm going to use this really fun pink viscose fabric. It's got a really cute leopard print with these like scribbled dots on and I thought it'd be perfect to make a really nice autumn top. It's a really gorgeous light pink shade and I just love how the black looks against it. I've had this fabric for so long so I'm so excited to finally be using it to make it into such a fun top. So before I get into making the top I'm super excited to share that this video has been kindly sponsored by LDH Scissors. LDH Scissors have a range of high quality sewing tools such as fabric shears, pinking shears, thread snips and rotary cutters that are affordable and accessible. So they actually sent me this gorgeous pair of scissors and I honestly love how they look. I've been seeing so many sewists on Instagram use their products so I was really excited to try them out. So I've been using the 9.5 prism fabric shears and I honestly love using them. The prism shears are very high quality, they're sharp and they cut through fabric like butter. They're crafted from industrial stainless steel and have a metal coating that creates this stunning effect. They're a brand that I'm really happy to be working with. LTH scissors actually stands for love, dedication and happiness and you can really see the level of craftsmanship in their products. I also really love they're a female led business that gives back to their community by donating 5% of their profits to Women's Shelter Canada. So if you are looking for some new sewing tools that are really high quality and affordable, definitely check out LDH Scissors. I've included a special discount code in the description box if you want to check them out. So that is everything cut out and I'm really loving how this print looks. I think it's going to make such a cute smock top. If I just show you a close up of what the print looks like, I really love the drape of this fabric as well. It's very fluid. So I think this is going to be such a lovely top. So the first thing to do with this top is actually sew the shoulder seams of the front and back top together. So let me show you how I do that. So I started by placing the front and back bodice right sides together and sewing the shoulder seams. I then opened out the bodice and aligned the sleeve with the armhole, making sure right sides were together. So I've just pinned along the sleeve head and I'm going to go ahead and sew this on the sewing machine and use an overlocker to finish the edge. So this is what the top is looking like right now. So you've sewed the sleeves to the bodice and it's taking shape as a top. And I'm really loving the length of it. So the actual pattern comes in different variations and I've included a top variation, but I've actually made this slightly shorter because I wanted to make a bit of a crop top. But now that the sleeves are inserted into the bodice, we're gonna go ahead and sew the underarm seam and the bodice seam all in one. As you can see, when you place the fabric right sides together, the sleeve is taking shape and you can see the side seam of the top. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. With right sides together, I aligned the underarm seam and the side seam and sewed the whole seam in one swoop.
So this is what the top is looking like now that we've sewn the underarm seams and the side seams and it's looking really, really good. What we're going to want to do now is focus on finishing the sleeve and adding the elastic hem. To make the elastic casing, I double folded the sleeve hem and pinned across but left a gap at the back. So we're going to want to sew around the sleeve hem and make sure we leave a two inch gap at the back so we can insert elastic later. So this is what the top is looking like now that we've sewn the side seam and the underarm seam and we've also made a casing for the sleeve hem so we're going to insert elastic into that and that's why we left a two inch gap at the back of the sleeve. So to finish the sleeve hem we're actually going to need some elastic to feed through the casing and I write in the instructions how exactly to calculate this but you essentially just want to wrap it around your elbow and add two inches and that's how you calculate the length of the elastic that you need. I'm going to be using seven millimeter or a quarter inch wide elastic to feed through the casing. Essentially we're just going to put a safety pin through the end and we're going to feed it through the hole that we left in the back of the sleeve and that will make it really nice and elastic. Using a safety pin I pierce the elastic and use my fingers to push it through the sleeve casing. Once both ends of elastic were free, I sewed them together to create a loop. I then pushed the elastic back inside and sewed the opening closed. So this is what the sleeve looks like now that I've added the elastic and sewn it shut. And I really love this way of finishing a sleeve. Now that that's done, it's time to move to the neckline. I then took the neck binding piece and aligned it with the neckline with right sides together. I then cut away any excess and joined the neck binding pieces together to create a loop. I then sewed the binding to the neckline using a quarter of an inch seam allowance. I then folded over the bias binding over the seam allowance and folded over once more to enclose any raw edges. To finish off the hem of the top, I double folded the bottom edge and sewed across. So this is the final top. I really, really love how it turned out. The fabric is really cute and the sleeves of this pattern are literally my favorite. I love the elastic hem. Let's see what it looks like on.
thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I sewed a really cute smock top. As I said, you can find the pre dress pattern in the description box below. And I wanna give out a huge shout out to LDH Scissors for sponsoring this video. Like I mentioned before, they really have become my go-to fabric cutting pair and I honestly love how cute they look. Make sure you click in the link in my description box below and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.